Hi there, I'm SmallAnt1, and welcome to my beginner's guide to the Super Mario Odyssey Any% Percent Cap and Cascade Kingdom route. In this video, I'll be showing you the basic path through the kingdoms, describing the movement, and explaining any tricks you may find difficult. If you haven't watched my movement guide yet, be sure to check that out as it is a good starting point for learning to speed around the game. There are timestamps in the video description if you want to skip to a particular section, but let's get started. Here's what a good beginner's cap kingdom looks like, and I'll wait until after it's done to talk about it. Alright, so there's Cap Kingdom, one of the shortest kingdoms, you aren't required to pick up any moons, it's just getting to the boss fight as fast as possible. The first thing to note here is the start screen. The timing for the run begins the moment the A button is pressed on this screen. You'll see the language was in Japanese, uh, that's the fastest language for the game. You can easily change the language to Japanese in the language settings of the in-game menu. The first thing to do on the run is to skip the cutscene here, just mash the plus button and then the A button. Now we'll see Mario lying down. It's important that you move the camera downwards to an angle like this. If the camera isn't adjusted, the game won't give you the option to let Mario jump up otherwise. Once Mario is up, you'll be rolling, making sure to use the motion control boosts for the rolls. Triple jump up to the bridge area, and once you get more comfortable with the triple jump, you can choose to aim a little bit further left and land on the railing and save a little bit of time. On the bridge, it'll trigger the cutscene, skip that, and now we'll roll straight to the switch, get up the stairs, in whatever way works for you. The fastest way to get up them is to triple jump up, and then dive and activate the switch. Something to mention about rolling down slopes here is to let Mario roll normally down it, and right before the slope stops, you'll want to boost. It's just the fastest way to go down slopes. Roll to the door, open it, and we're into the frog section. The fast and easy way to get over to the frogs is just roll into the water, jump out, and capture it. Something that might happen to you when trying to capture a frog here is that Cappy will land on the frog's head but then slip off. This is caused when you shake more than once to home Cappy onto the frog's head. To prevent this, make sure to only shake once when getting Cappy to home in on the frog. Once in the frog, do some normal jumps to get up and walk along the ground until you hit the water. If you've watched other people doing runs, you'll likely see them doing a zigzag motion with the frog here. This is vectoring, and if you're just starting out, don't concern yourself with it because if it's performed poorly, you'll only be slowing yourself down. Once you hit the water, do two motion control jumps with the frog, 
then regular jumps to get up to the door. Outside, you'll want a long jump and triple jump around the big cap. The triple jump feels a bit weird here, but to make it easier, you can make sure Mario takes a step or two in between each jump to correct his angle. Uh, you may have seen some runners do left instead of right, and this is incredibly difficult and only saves like two seconds, so don't learn it until you have a time of like an hour and five minutes or so. It's, it's just not worth it, trust me. But back to the right side, you'll have Mario roll up the slope and roll cancel at the top to get into the arena for the fight against Topper. To start off, knock the three hats off his head. Two ways to do this is to dive forwards and quickly throw your hat three times. Another way is to dive, jump, throw your hat, and just hold it there. But these are just examples. If you find something easier for you, then just do that. Once you get the hats off and jump on Topper, he'll go into the next phase. Your aim here is to jump on the hat he hides under. If you miss this, it's no big deal. You can smack him two times with your hat, and that will end this phase as well. The final phase is just knocking off three hats again. Knock them off however you like. I would either jump and throw Cappy holding it above him, or simply smack him three times with Cappy. After the fight, there's only one more thing to mention. During the cutscene, if you mash the jump button, you can get Mario to jump slightly off the ground, which makes it a little bit faster when you throw Cappy to capture the wire at the end. But that's Cap Kingdom finished. I included a bunch of small details when describing a lot of the movement here, but since you're just starting out with this speedrun, it's really important not to get overwhelmed with the little things. Try to figure out what works best for you initially, and then after you've done some runs of the game and become more comfortable, you can worry about the minor optimizations. But now we'll move on to the next section, Cascade Kingdom.
Alright, so there's Cascade Kingdom. Another short kingdom, nothing too crazy going on in this one. To start off, there's three cutscenes to skip, mash through some cappy dialogue, and then we're rolling. Roll boost five times, do a triple jump up and dive, roll to the chain chomp and capture it. Uh, you are able to use the motion controls to make this chain chomp move faster, but the struggle that the chain chomp does before the fling after a motion control pull takes longer than without motion controls, so with this one, don't use the motion controls. Use the chomp to break the rock and collect the moon. If you've watched some higher level runs of Super Mario Odyssey, you may have seen some people skip this first moon. This can only be done on an older version of the game, which you probably don't have and is a fairly difficult strat. If you're just starting out, don't worry about this as it only skips two short cutscenes. After collecting the moon, uh, you'll skip the cutscene, travel up the left side of the bridge, and aim to jump over the center of the boulder. This triggers the cutscene slightly earlier for some reason. After the cutscene, you'll turn around, backflip, cap jump, and dive, then just triple jump and cap jump up to the T-Rex. This next part is called Dino Skip, where we'll be skipping a large part of Cascade Kingdom. Using the dino, bounce up from the hidden trampoline, leave the dino, and dive into the boss arena. An easy way to do this consistently is to run straight forwards, holding Y until the dino hits the ground below, then let go of Y, turn 90 degrees, aiming the dino in such a way that its left foot will land on the trampoline. The moment the bounce initiates, hold Y again, and turn towards the boss arena. Just after the peak of the bounce, leave the dino, cap throw, and dive. The boss cutscene should trigger, even if it looks like you're going to bonk on the wall, as long as you have enough height. If you happen to miss Dino Skip, just try to line up the left foot of the dino onto the trampoline again in whatever way you can. Now, into the boss fight, you'll want to dive forwards right away and throw Cappy twice to capture the Golden Chomp. Do one motion control pull with the Chomp, and then a regular pull the rest of the way until it's ready to fling. For the next two stages, you'll want to move at least 90 degrees around the arena to have enough room to pull the Chomp without hitting the wall. Wait for Madame Brutal to throw the Chomp and pull it back. Once it's pulled back, you can capture it with two quick cap throws. Then shake the controller a bunch until the Chomp is ready to fling. After doing this, the boss fight will be over. If you want, you can try the fast ride here if you don't find it too hard. Stand at a distance where the Golden Chomp will stop after the throw from Madame Brutal. Throw Cappy when Madame Brutal prepares her throw and hold it. And right after Madame Brutal throws, do a backflip onto the Chain Chomp, which will stop it. Release Cappy, and it'll knock the hat off the Chomp on the way back. Capture the Chomp with another Cappy throw, and then pull. This strat can be difficult if you're just starting out, so I wouldn't recommend it. I'm just going to include it here if you want to learn it in the future when you've become more experienced with the game. Collect the multi-moon from the boss, and there is one more quick moon to collect. After the little cutscene, you'll have Mario dive, triple jump, cap jump, and dive up to the final moon. And after collecting it, just dive back down to the Odyssey to finish off Cascade Kingdom. And that's the end of the guide for these two kingdoms. There is something that I feel you should keep in mind while learning and doing runs. Since you are just starting out, you will make a lot of mistakes. Everyone does at the beginning, and it's important to remember this fact. Doing runs and making mistakes are an essential part of the learning process, and over time, you will make less and less of those mistakes. Don't let them drag you down, practice lots, and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Small Ant one and I'll see you next time.